Hello, everybody. This is Akio from Medibank. Today, I'm gonna show you how to draw in two point perspective. This video is a continuation of the previous video about one point perspective. So, if you haven't watched it yet, please make sure to watch it first and come back again so that you have a better understanding. Today, I'm gonna introduce to you how I did this piece. This background drawing is done in two-point perspective. Let's start off with what two-point perspective is and move on to drawing in two-point perspective. Before getting into that, here's a quick recap from the last video. When an object is below the eye level, you see the top and side. When it's on the eye level, you only see the side. And when it's above the eye level, you also see the bottom. I've explained what eye level is in the previous video, so if you don't know what that is, please check it out. The link is in the description. With that being said, let's move on to two-point perspective. I want you to start with defining an eye level. The difference between one and two-point perspective is uh, there are two vanishing points in two-point perspective. In that way, you create a bit more of a 3D feeling. Other than that, the basic idea is exactly the same. So at two vanishing points on the eye level, and all the lines are conversing into the vanishing points. And these lines I'm making can be a guide later when you draw, so I recommend making it first. Let's try making boxes. You can start off with drawing a vertical line, connect both edges to the vanishing points. Again, draw vertical lines and connect to the vanishing points. The box right here is below the eye level, so you see the top. The drawing orders don't really matter as long as you have a box in the right perspective. This box is above the eye level, so you see the bottom. And if I use the guide I made first with red and blue lines, I don't always have to connect lines to the vanishing points, just follow the direction of the grid. At first, it's a little confusing to draw in two-point perspective, but as you watch this video and practice along, you can start to be able to visualize 3D shapes in your head. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment, and I have my own YouTube channel Twitter, Instagram, and Art Street as well. If you'd like to see more of my arts and get some art tips, please check them out. I really hope this video gave you a further understanding of perspective. Useful tips are coming in the next part as well, so enjoy the rest of the video and drawing together. Thank you for watching.